Your vessel has 1.5 meters draft and 900 horsepower propulsion. Your voyage orders are to transport four passengers from Carnage Bay to Point Fordham. Consult the chart catalog to see what charts cover the area. The appraisal informs us that the smallest scale charts available for the voyage are charts 474, 483 and 475. The passage plan should have prompts where smaller scale charts with more details are available. When we scrutinize the charts, we should use a magnifying glass on paper charts or the zoom feature on chart plotters. In this case we look at the smallest scale chart available for each area of the voyage. At the departure area, we use chart 474 to look for the underwater hazards and in the arrival area we look at the point forwarding panel of chart 475. For the middle of the voyage we look at chart 483. There are few underwater hazards like rock and reefs in the northern Gulf of Paria. There are shallow areas near the coast. When we check the sailing directions, we will see the seasonal conditions. Chart 483 has a chart note about the Guiana current. The sailing directions tell us that the currents in the northern and southern Gulf meet off Brighton. The sailing directions also tell us there are seasonal variations of current and wind in the Gulf of Paria. There is hourly tidal information available for a point forward in. The tidal information will be helpful when entering the relatively shallow construction dock. All of the charts have chart notes about oil rigs, oil and gas field activity and the Brighton and Soldado oil fields. The chart notes are a prompt to check for navigational warnings in force. Navigational warnings can be accessed on the Ministry of Works and Transport website. In 2020 the process was, look for divisions, look for maritime services division, look for notices. We look at the navigational warnings for the area to see if there are any rig moves or other activities in progress at the time you will be there. From the thorough appraisal, we know that Carnage, Point Cumana, Cockerite, Orange Valley, San Fernando, Claxton Bay, Cedros and Otaheite are fish landing points. We know that long liners and trawlers operate on the north coast. So we can expect vessels engaged in fishing and vessel returning to port with their catch. We have to decide on how much sea room we want between our ship and navigation hazards, if your vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. There's a chart note about high-speed craft in the Gulf of Paria, this refers to the inter-island ferry service. It would be helpful to know the ferry and water taxi schedule and avoid impeding their passage. The slides show the high-speed craft warning near to the Grier Channel in Port of Spain. We have to decide on how much sea room we want around our ship, if our vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. In addition to the ship's loading and discharging passengers and cargo, commercial ports have traffic from supply boats, tugs, launches, pilot boats operating near them in multiple directions. Navigating in the approaches to the commercial ports at Chaguaramas, Port of Spain, Sea Lots, Point Lises, Savoneta, Claxton Bay, Point de Pierre, San Fernando, Brighton and Point Fordham. Sometimes there are ship-to-ship -ship transfer operations off Point Lises and Point de Pierre. We have to decide on how much sea room we want around our ship, if our vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. There are recreational craft marinas in Chaguaramas Bay, Carnage Bay, Point Cumana and San Fernando. Recreational craft are small and hard to see, even with radar, if not fitted with a reflector. Recreational vessels could be operated by persons who are not trained or not experienced in collision avoidance and seamanship. The slide shows a waypoint near to the marina and Point Cumana. We have to decide on how much sea room we want around our ship if our vessel has to alter course to avoid a close quarters situation with other vessels. Compliance with passage planning, and specifically, birth-to-birth -birth passage planning procedures will be scrutinized by ship surveyors and auditors. The first waypoint is at the ship, alongside the jetty. The small scale chart available, 474, shows us the greatest underwater detail. We select a waypoint clear of obstructions near the entrance of the bay. A waypoint close to Alice Point is shown. 
the Alice Point waypoint is transferred to chart 483. Notice that this chart does not give the details that 474 did. A waypoint is selected near to the head of the point Fort and Viaduct, with due regard to seasonal currents in the area. The point Fort and waypoint is transferred to chart 475. Notice that this chart has more details than 483 did. Waypoints are selected in the approach to construction dock. A magnifying glass or zoom feature should be used to ensure the soundings are read correctly. The course between Pier 1 and Alice Point is easy enough to plot. The course between Alice Point and Point Fortian is tricky to plot with parallel rulers because of the distance apart. There's also the option to calculate the course and distance between them using plane sailing. Plane sailing is covered in a separate lesson. The course between Point Fort and Viaduct Head and LNG Channel No. 11 buoy is easy enough to plot. We need to have our hourly tide information available for this leg. The course between LNG Channel No. 11 buoy and the breakwater is easy enough to plot. We need to have our hourly tide information available for this leg. The course between the breakwater and construction dock is easy enough to plot. We need to have our hourly tide information available for this leg. Unless the GPS is near out of the box, there will likely already be waypoints stored in the memory. In any case, the set will assign a waypoint number, if there is sufficient memory to store your waypoints. If there is not enough memory, you will have to free up memory by deleting old waypoints. Many GPS sets will have a feature to name waypoints also. The waypoints can be input in any order. To create a route, we go to the appropriate part of the menu and select waypoints in the sequence for the route. When the route is saved, we check the courses and distances displayed on the GPS with those done manually on the chart. This close to show that there should not be over-reliance on GPS for position fixing. We should consider that a vessel drifting at a 2 knots current will travel 0.1 nautical miles or 185 meters in around 3 minutes.